we are currently mixing our mortar um, for building up those blocks you see in the middle there up onto the walls of the Destacamento, which is going to be our new police station. So we have 54 shovelfuls of sand and one bag of cement. And this reinforces the strength of the building. All right, cool. That's really cool. And now we'll show you what we're going to fill the blocks with. All right, so this is the filling that's going to go inside the blocks to make even more strength for the blocks so that we can just lock them over and stuff. So here we have 48 shovelfuls, shovels of arenaitabo, and we have half of a meter of gravel. And along that we have some water and we're waiting for that. And this is the mixture that we're going to put inside all the blocks. As you can see here, we did it yesterday for these blocks. And it helps the rebar stay dry, kind of like a Lego. You put the mix in here so that when you add the next blocks, it's kind of more like Legos. And it helps with the structure and keeping it solid. On this wall, you can see that we've added two layers, which is basically the maximum amount of layers you can add because you need to do the filling inside. So here, I'll show you an example of rebar. The rebar here only reached to this height. So what we had to do was cut another piece of rebar about a meter long and use alambre dulce, which is this thinner wire, here, to tie them together. So now it is ready to get more blocks built inside and also just ready to get filled now that we have extended the wire. So you can see in these over here, the wire has already been extended. So we were able to build two more layers of blocks. So here you're seeing the volcano mashed potato technique again. So we have a lot of water. So far we're at four buckets of five four buckets of water. We still need more. It needs to be really watery, water consistent, so that when we pour it in, it goes straight all the way down to the bottom. Gregorio doing his thing. <laughs> Here's the difference you see from when we're mixing plaster. Because the gravel is so big, it becomes really hard to use the shovel to try and mix it. So here we're using the pickaxe and a really great technique. You can see how it's a lot more watery. And we're gonna add more water. More water. So here we haven't mixed the entire mix yet. We're leaving this part dry just in case we don't need it all. That way we can utilize it tomorrow. But here you can see that's really, really wet, really wet consistency. He's putting it in a bucket, and we're gonna follow Kylie and see Kylie pour it in to one of the block holes. Oil, oil, block holes inside the blocks. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in one block. Yeah, let's do this. Which hole? The new holes. I think I'm gonna pour it in. Which hole? All these holes. Right? 
Let's ask. Reoyo, ¿son en todos los hoyos o son los hoyos que tienen esto? Todo. Every single hole. Ready? Go. basically wraps up the process. Thanks, Kylie. You're welcome, Tanya. I'll tell you that you face your face a lot. They chip halfway down the valley. So the solution is Definitely not, or else your fingernails might fall off. <laughs>